The Fibonacci Sequence by Leonardo of Pisa. So, ito yung pattern ng Fibonacci Sequence. 1, 1, 2, paano si 2? I-add lang natin yung previous terms. 1 plus 1, 2. Para makuha si next term, yung previous term, tsaka yung preceding term. 2 plus 1, that is 3. 3 plus 2, that is 5. 5 plus 3, that is 8. 8 plus 5, that is 13. And 13 plus 8, that is 21. So, yan yung pattern natin. Alam nyo ba, na kapag identified natin yung next term dun sa preceding term, papalapit tayo dun sa tinatawag na golden ratio. Uh, Tori natin. 1 divided by 1, that is 1. 2 divided by 1, that is 2. 3 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2, that is 1.5. 5 divided by 3, and calculate natin, 5 divided by 3. So, 5 divided by 3, that is 1.6666. 1.66666 Then next, 8 divided by 5 That is 8 divided by 5 1.6 Next, 13 divided by 8 13 divided by 8 That is 1.625 Next, 21 divided by 13 21 divided by 13 That is 1.615 Kapag pinagpatuloy natin yung pattern na yan, papalapit tayo dun sa tinatawag na golden ratio. Ang value ng golden ratio is 1.61 kapag sinerge natin. Indefinite siya. No, 1.61 and so on. So, ano yung rule? Ano yung relevant yan? Yung golden ratio na yan, ay yan yung ginagamit ng mga engineers para makagawa ng perfect structure. Ginagamit yan lalo nung sinauna. At yung golden ratio na yan din, ay pwede natin itest kung yung mukha ba ng isang tao ay malapit sa perfection. So, let's say, kukuha natin yung length ng ating, sa pinaka-tip sa ating forehead, hanggang sa ating ilong. Yan, Yan yung may numerator natin. I-divide natin dun sa length ng ilong natin, tip, hanggang dun sa pinakababa. Yan. Kapag nakuha natin length niya yan, divided by sa length nito, at kinuha natin yung quotient niya, Kapag mas malapit sa 1.61, 1.61, mas malapit daw sa perfection yung mukha ng isang tao. Another thing sa kagandahan ng Fibonacci sequence at nang ay nagagamit din siya sa photography. Yan, yung mga mahilig sa camera, yung tinatawag nilang rule of thirds. Okay. So, kaya pa sinin sa ating mga camera na nandiyan ganyan, Ayan. So, meron siyang ganyan na part. Then, yung rule of thirds nga ang pattern na iyan. So, yan ang Fibonacci sequence. So, pwede kayong mag-search kung ano-ano ba yung mapanggagamitin niya. So, nakikita natin sa surroundings, lahat pala yan ay connected sa mathematics. Lalo-lalo na dito sa Fibonacci sequence. So, karagdagan lang sa sequences, ipapasok natin yung Pascal Triangle. By our great mathematician, Blaise Pascal. Bakit siya pasok sa sequence? Itong si Pascal Triangle natin, nanggaling siya sa base of 11. So, nag-start tayo ng 11 raised to 0. Any number raised to 0 except for 0 is equal to 1. Yan. Next, 11 raised to 1. So, that is 11. Then, yung next pattern natin, 11 raised to 2. That's 11 times 11, 121. So, 121. So, kukuha natin yung pattern ngayon. So, yung pattern natin, kopihin lang natin yung 
ating unit digit, which is 1. Then, add lang natin yung consecutive terms. 1 plus 2, that is 3. 2 plus 1, that is 3. Then, copy the class digit. Next pattern. Copy, then add. 1 plus 3, that is 4. 3 plus 3, that is 6. 3 plus 1, that is 4. Then, copy. Pasin ninyo, pattern natin. So, ang next natin, copy 1. 4 plus 1, that is 5. 6 plus 4, that is 10. 6 plus 4, that is 10. 4 plus 1, that is 5. And copy 1. And next, 1. 5 plus 1, that is 6. 10 plus 5, that is 15. 10 plus 10, that is 20. 5 plus 10, that is 15. 1 plus 5, that is 6. And copy 1. So, yung Pascal triangle na yan ay ginagamit sa binomial expansion. O, ano yung binomial expansion? Let's say, meron tayong A plus B raised to 2. So, Itatapat natin. Ayan. Ayan si A. Ayan si raised to 2. Ito naman si 11 raised to 3. 11 raised to 4. Magtapat-tapatin natin. So, para yung sa shortcut natin na expansion, kapag in-expand natin yan, kukunin lang natin yung mga coefficient na ito. So, magkakaroon tayo ng a square plus 2ab plus b square. Kapag magkakaroon tayo ng a plus b raised to 6. So, hanapin na natin pang 6 term. 4, 5, 6. Ito yung gagamitin natin. So, ang expansion natin ngayon is a raised to 6 plus, ano yung coefficient natin? 6. 6. Yung a natin na variable, pa ba yung exponent niya? a raised to 5 b. Kasi may b tayo dyan. Yung b naman ngayon, paakyat. Plus, third term natin, 15 a raised to 4 b square plus 20 na tayo, 20 a raised to 3 b raised to 3 plus 15 a raised to 2 b raised to 4 plus, next tayo, 6 a raised to 1, or simply a raised to a lang, b raised to 5, and the last one plus b raised to 6. Ito na ngayon yung expansion form niya. Uh, expanded form, sorry. Expanded form. So, dyan ginagamit yung ating Pascal triangle, which is related pa din sa ating sequences. So, paano pag a plus b raised to 5? Ito na yung gagamitin natin. Naka-raise sa 5. So, ganun yung mga shortcuts sa mathematics. Kailangan lang natin alamin para mas uh, maging attached tayo sa math.